Hey Earth Kingdom, welcome to your love reading where we are spiritual as fuck. If we haven't met yet, my name is High Priestess Fairies, psychic medium and divine channeler. Hoping to check on someone that you love and care about. Um, the following message is going to be for those where their signs are in Capricorn, Taurus, and or Virgo, or if you self-identify with one of those elements. Always remember, listen to your instincts, tap into your intuition. If there's anything that I talk about that doesn't make any sense, totally fine. Don't worry about it. You're always welcome to go to my channel. So doing a bit of a pre-shuffle, we're going to be asking um, the universe, what are your person's, uh, what's going on in their situation right now? Uh, what are their feelings about the situation? How do they feel about you as they go through this cycle? What is the universe going to bring clarity into their reality over? And that was so weirdly worded, but whatever. I've got to work with it. And what inspired actions are they going to be encouraged to take in order to get through whatever this is that they're in the middle of? Because as I did a, a pre-shuffle, just to check up on uh, all the kingdoms, uh, in anticipation of this reading series, I do have the card of protection, which is for all of the signs, but for the earth kingdom, I do have illumination. This is the card of the sun. And it's as though like, whoa, whoa, something has descended into their reality, an open window where they're starting to realize why they have behaved the way they behaved. Chances are they have been hunkered down a lot, especially within the last few weeks. And this has been a very self-protected, I'm stuck in my, stuck in my shell energy, but a lot of this is just to protect themselves from everybody's interference in the world. At the base of the archetype deck to check in on their situation before I go to cut, I have the card of the mentor passing on wisdom and refining a student's character versus the inability to allow the student to move on to the role of master, imparting false instruction. Your person has been dealing with someone who's been sabotaging them. And that's probably the reason why they have been hunkered down. They couldn't quite consciously put their mind on what it was supposed to be, but I get the suspicion it's someone that is a lover in their reality. Great passion and devotion, unbridled appreciation of someone or something versus obsessive passion that harms others, self-destructive devotion. Your person has been pulling back even from this lover energy, just to get into their own headspace to make sure that they don't have any other people, influences, or opinions to sway them. And in this period of autonomy, they are beginning to realize who is responsible for what. A really funny example, okay? So, like, my parents are cool, all right? But we always had this argument of who is the messiest in the house. My dad is always one who likes a little bit of, like, order to the house. He's got his reasons why he likes to keep the house tidy. And my mom, I don't know how she, she does it, but she has everything everywhere. Like, she has stuff everywhere, but she always knows exactly where all the stuff is. Both of them have their form of order, and to the other, it sometimes feels like chaos. And sometimes my mom, admittedly, would get a little self-conscious, because sometimes we, we pinned it on her. We're like, you're the messy one in the family. But... She was like, no, come on, girls. Like, you also leave your stuff everywhere. And she would absolutely be right. You know, sometimes families can get caught up in the whole, like, you're the one who do this. I'm not the one who does this. But I remember my mom had went away for a week to go visit her family. And we, like, we, we did have to admit to her later, like, look, mom, like, well, you were away. Like, the house actually kind of stayed somewhat in order. It, it kind of stayed somewhat cleaned up but and she's like oh man and we we all are fine with just how everybody is supposed to be we accept each other for who each other are but there's something a little bit more 
twisted that your person has beginning to realize. They probably had a separation from someone that they do consider to be a lover. Even though you might observe on the outside that they're still together, there has been some kind of quiet separation so that your person can try to figure out, is it them that's causing a lot of this weird bullshit or is it me and they are beginning to realize that there has been someone in their world who has been sabotaging them so that they can't level up so they cannot grow at the top of the deck we do have the child nature in the shadow aspect the tendency to abuse animal people and the environments oh your poor person is beginning to realize that they have been in a very abusive relationship because below the lover we do have the card of gossip thrives in the power of passing on private or secret information oh man betraying confidences so um part of the reason your person probably went into hunker down mode de detaching from you they also detached from others and they also detached from this lover they got caught up in a gossip cycle chances are that some information was leaked and it really hurt your person. And it was because, unfortunately, they are around a abusive, childlike energy. And it's kind of the only way they know how to operate. It's sort of as though, if you're not with me, you're against me. And then they try to get the tribe on board to um, organize and group sabotage your person. They are beginning to see through the illusion and at least this illumination card, it is very empowered, enthusiastic, and very tempered. Trying to take a moment to make sure that before they take a next step, that the child, I don't think this is an actual child, but for some, they may actually be dealing with some children like this, but this childish abusive energy it can be dealt with and they are feeling empowered by it. So before we go to cut the decks, we do have two of cups. This definitely does have to do with a relationship. And the fact that I see the hermit crab over here, this is almost about trying to redefine what home means to your own person. Because we also have the card of change. Whatever it is that they have been experiencing, there's a little bit of no. I can't do this, but there's a lot going on where we have seven of cups. They realize a lot of things in the world has to go through a change because they've been so intertwined with this abusive energy for which abusers are really good at alienating the good and taking away our independence and it pigeonholes us into thinking that our loyalties lie with the other instead of self. Here we got five of swords. And it's like your person has been back here this whole time. Your, the, the, your person's lover or whoever that is to them. It could sometimes be like a family member or another karmic situation. This is someone that they have adored and someone that they have been loyal to. Um, it's as though this person has been trying to gather up information, trying to gather a case. I'm also getting the word slander to try and cut your person down at this time. So what are their feelings about the situation that they're in? Queen of Wands, Six of Swords. Queen of Wands is that gregarious energy and she's the life of the party. People who are well-meaning, who actually authentically behave like themselves, they are the best person you want to be around. They can be very nurturing. They can be healing. They can be full of great ideas. Um, but your person, this whole time, confused the, this abusive person's mask for the genuine article. It happens all of the time. Queen of Wands can be very narcissistic if you don't have your intuitive knowing in check. Your person knows that in order to make sure they don't get bitten by this old energy, and I think they're kind of afraid of being bitten by you. Because if I do have protection, that also in that also um in oh the word is not coming to me. They say protection and rejection are the same thing. It's an inference. But 
your person has also recognized that what has been done to them is something that they have done to you, especially if you know your person has tried to extricate you from the community. And it was a response from this abuser that they were with. I had this happen with uh, my ex-husband where he tried to get me to doubt a lot of my parents' friends. And it was sort of like, they don't like me. They, I don't want to be around them. They're not into me. And somehow made his emotional problems my problems when in fact I was doing the annual tradition of, yeah, we get it. Like, you know, the parents, friends, they invite the, the kids and the young adult kids over to the different houses, you know, different types of holiday celebrations throughout the year. I was just hanging out there because that's what we did. And the ex-husband of mine, he made his emotional insecurity with unfamiliar people. Like he was the fish out of water. That was not necessarily the people he's accustomed to being to. Made me feel uncomfortable about being around people who I was once comfortable with. There's a lot of manipulation that your person has been going through. They're not entirely certain how to go on to calm waters. In many ways, I see this boat, it's still at the shore and your person's trying to figure out what next steps they want to take. So how does your person feel about you as they are going through this situation? Got the chariot, queen of pentacles, but the chariot is in the reverse. Um, They don't blame you if you left this person. They don't blame that you chose to carry on. They actually admire you in many ways. It's giving them a little bit of juice to give them confidence to start taking the first step. They know that you walked away in order to protect yourself, to also protect your image, to protect your integrity. I'm also saying protect your children, protect your pets. There, There is um, a lot of admiration that they have for you right now, but... Your energy has been withdrawn from this person. This is something I've also been picking up on the Fire Nation angle, where they don't have you to blame or lean on anymore. And this is giving them a lot of clarity as to why they themselves could not get out of an abusive situation. But they do have what they observed about you, whether if it is the toxic version of it or the healthy aspect. There's something about the way that they treated you, that's giving them a lot of illumination and it's giving them a lot of hope. So what is, uh, what clarity will the universe be showing to them as they work through this uh, puzzle? <laughs> Six of cups and we got the fool in the reverse. Don't repeat history. It, 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 this is a very earthy energy where it's like, just don't do that. Just, you saw what happened in the past. Don't do what you've done in the past. It's getting out of the cycle of thinking if we keep trying the same thing over and over again, that we're going to get a different result. And in some ways, like, you know, your person feels kind of crazy for trying something different. And what's kind of cool about seeing these cards together, even though the fool was in the reverse, what your person doesn't realize that they're just walking into a brand new stream of consciousness. It's as though, you know, this gal over here, she's listened to her Walkman, if you remember what a Walkman looks like. And she's just going to be like, you know what? I'm just going to, oh, cool. Woo. Like being able to just jump into some brand new, fresh energy. And this is a lot of like rewriting history, having a brand new perspective as to why certain people have behaved the way they have and why they themselves behaved the way that they did. This is a really refreshing realization that your person is going to be seeing and it's going to make them feel so much better about walking away from this abusive situation. That said, what actions may they be inspired to take during this time? Ooh, Ace of Wands to the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords has been a very common theme coming up in the collective. I think a reading from a day or two ago had like three Seven of Swords show up in one reading. I think this might actually be connected very closely where your person has been eyeballing a treacherous individual in their midst 
because drama. But they are beginning to see that they have been lied to and they've been lying to themselves. So what's kind of cool is that they're giving themselves permission to follow things that are illuminating. This card of illumination is almost like this light bug in the jar. And if they themselves do not feel good about a situation, they're probably being lied to. If the abusive person that they have been dealing with tries to diminish their light, tries to I'm actually hearing withhold sex. There is this um, ace of wands can be a very um, sexually empowered energy, whether if they see like the person trying to withhold their sexuality, because this is a lover. And if this isn't about sex, um, this is about either like a community project that they're working on. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of that uh, stonewall energy where they try to ignore the person's feelings where they try to diminish their feelings or try to throw some shade lots of manipulation and your person's trying to keep it you know what? let's keep it simple this can't be super complex in order to make better decisions in my life i can't go out of my way to appease this person's non-stop lies they uh, they're claiming victory where victory is just not warranted and your purse is just fed up. Like the fact that we have this kind of energy in a lot of ways, it just doesn't, doesn't do it for them anymore. And it's given them a chance to walk away as though they're, they, the path has been illuminated between these two trees and they, you know, even those persons like, well, I'm going to walk away from you. I'm going to walk away. And it's like, Bye. It's, it's that kind of thing, which that's really awesome. In some ways, your person, all they need to do is sit hunkered down doing exactly what it is they've always been doing and just sort of let the problem resolve itself, which <laughs> touche. I find that a little bit amusing. So I want to get a closing message for you before we, uh, before we wrap up today's reading, like short and sweet. So that's kind of the way that I like it. Um, I don't know why I feel like doing it this way, but sure. Oh, perfect. This, this landed on, um, uh, that Ace of Wands. You are a reflection of your person and you walking away towards things that were emotionally, physically, mentally, fulfilling. They've been inspired by you. They didn't understand why you've made the decisions that you did, but they're beginning to recognize the power of your autonomy. They are inspired. For now, you're being guided. Allow the person that space. Give them the energetic space. You have learned how to hold your own autonomy, to take care of your own business, and allow this person to figure it out on their own. Because as they start coming to terms with the reality that they are in, they're giving themselves more and more permission just to let go of people that have clung onto them. I hope that you have been inspired and illuminated by this person's story because even on the days they can't pick up your energy they know in the days when they do it is them picking up how you are proud of them how you are excited to see how they'll figure out the solutions to their problems and they're looking forward to one day being able to sit down with you compare notes and be able, I'm hearing them say, begin anew, have a fresh start where both of you are starting on equal ground. I think that's the message. Oof! wow. Thank you so much for sticking around. I really hope this helped.
If you like my style, you're more than welcome to like, share, and subscribe. Been excited to add more and more of you along for the journey. And you know, if this didn't help, that's that's totally cool. Like you're welcome to you know go to the search bar up here and I don't know, look up you know old uh, episodes of Gossip Girl or whatever it is that you're technically into. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Good luck, everybody.